This is the exercise for Lab 7 of Dreamcatcher ME 1110, Digital Modulation Technique University courseware captured on video. During this lab exercise, we are going to capture, analyze, and demodulate the orthogonal frequency division multiplexing OFDM signal output from the ME 1110 training kit using the Keysight VSA software. To get the most out of this course, you should view this video along with the lab sheet. Please refer to the description section for the lab sheet download link. You may want to pause this video to read the lab sheet first before proceeding with the video stream. Introduction to Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing OFDM is a class of frequency division multiplexing modulation techniques to send high bitrate digital data over a transmission medium. FDM implies that multiple sinusoidal carriers are used to modulate the digital data. The carriers must be orthogonal to each other when down converted to the baseband. The easiest methods to make a group of sinusoidal carriers to be orthogonal to each other is to make their frequency harmonically related. For instance, consider a group of baseband sinusoidal carriers with the following expression. The diagram above shown an example of four sinusoidal carriers, the block diagram of an OFDM transmitter using binary phase shift keying modulation on each carrier. Typically, each carrier is called a channel in communication jargon. In the transmitter, the baseband spectrum is formed from four BPSK modulated carriers, which are harmonically related. In most cases the baseband spectrum is then upconverted by adding an offset frequency in the RF front end block before it is sent out, say via an antenna or cable. In the receiver, the received spectrum is first down converted to baseband, then the signal is fed into an array of correlation receiver, one for each carrier. For this experiment the ME1110 board has been designed to generate an 8 carrier OFDM signal. Each carrier is modulated using BPSK by a baseband digital data at 125 kilobits per seconds. The baseband digital data comes from a 1000 kilobits per seconds digital stream, which is split into 8 paths by a serial in parallel outshift register. With a total of 8 carriers, we can achieve a total baud rate of 1000 kilobits per seconds. Measurement Setup you will need the ME1110 Digital Modulation Training Kit, a regular Windows PC with VSA installed, a Keysight MSOX3000 Series 4 Channels Mixed Signal Oscilloscope with a minimum of 100 MHz bandwidth, a 1 meter SMAM to BNCM coaxial cable, an oscilloscope digital logic probe, and a USB cable. We are now going to set up the ME1110 Lab 7, Introduction to OFDM Measurement as shown. Firstly, connect the 5V power adapter to the ME1110 training kit. Then, connect its terminals and ports to the mixed signal oscilloscope, and the ME1110 training kit. Using the oscilloscope digital logic probe, and the SMAM to BNCM coaxial cable. The connection details between the ME1110 board and the oscilloscope is shown in the table. Lastly, power up the ME1110 board and set it to operating mode C. Measuring and verifying the OFDM signals. Set the horizontal time base of the oscilloscope to 5 microsecond per division.
and the trigger to digital channel 10. Edge trigger, and rising slope. Set the analog channel 1 to DC coupling. Input imp tends to 50 ohm. Horizontal scale to 500 millivolts per division. And position the channel 1 trace as shown in oscilloscope. You can press the run or stop button on the oscilloscope to freeze the display. Observe the relationship between the baseband data, 8 ways SIPO shift register outputs, and shift register clock on the oscilloscope. Make sure that you understand how the serial baseband data is shifted out from the 8 ways SIPO shift register. Set up the measurement as shown in diagram. Remove the oscilloscope digital logic probe. Connect the PC to the oscilloscope using a USB cable. Click Auto Scale and Run to enable continuous signal capture. Make sure to enable USB connection and check the Visa address of the USB. Run the VSA software on the PC to measure the spectrum of the OFDM. Check the connection between the PC and oscilloscope. The oscilloscope is configured as Analyzer 2. Select Analyzer 2 as the VSA hardware. Configure the VSA software to measure the OFDM signal. You may add a marker to read the frequency of each carrier frequency. Theoretically, each carrier has an offset of frequency offset 5 MHz, frequency interval between carriers of 0.625 MHz, and total occupied bandwidth of 5 MHz. Each carrier is modulated using BSK, with a data rate of 0.125 megabits per second, giving a total data rate of 1.0 megabits per second for 8 channels. OFDM single frequency demodulation. Now we are going to use the VSA to demodulate one of the carrier frequency from the OFDM signal. Preset the VSA to its default mode. Set the center frequency to the desired carrier frequency, for example 5.625 MHz and span to 625 kHz. Set the average type to RMS video and count to 10. Then, 
configure the VSA to demodulate the OFDM signal. The EVM is approximately 17.703%, with a magnitude error of approximately 13.561% and a phase error of approximately 6.2303 degree. The IQ offset is about negative 26.832 dB. These represent the errors of the IQ modulator for the BPSK modulation. Change the center frequency to other carrier frequency, for example 10 MHz to observe the result of the demodulation. The EVM is approximately 13.517%, with a magnitude error of approximately 11.778% and a phase error of approximately 3.7328 degree. The IQ offset is about negative 24.181 dB. These represent the errors of the IQ modulator for the BPSK modulation.